Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another beer review with me, Ruku. Today's beer review, we have Frasnica Royal on Perfect Draft. We have a 6% Dunkel German beer at our fingertips. This, up until recently, has always been sold out. You can never get it. It's always uh, released at a certain time of year for approximately a few weeks at a time. And as you guessed, a lot of people buy this, and it's sold out before you can get a look in. So, I finally got my hands on this after probably about two, two or three years of owning this machine. And I asked myself, why is it sold out? Why is it so good? Okay, La Trappe uh, Blonde is, is often sold out. You know, things like Budweiser, uh, what's it, Bud Light, Bud Light, Budweiser Light is always sold out, things like that. Anyway, the list goes on. Why is this way sold out? Well, that's what I'm here to sample. This is what I'm here to find out. I've never had this before, so this is completely new to me. I've never seen this in a bottle in my entire life. And here I am drinking on, on draft. Why? Because I can. What we have here is a rather murky brown colour. You can see the head there is big, it's fluffy, it's white. You can't see through it, it's completely you know, you just it's just like mud. You, you can't see through it. It's a nice browny red orangey colour. And the head is as I said a brilliant white lots of foam to it and fluffy so I've done this just under the pint because of the Oginger glass and also the fact here the tray wouldn't fit when you're pouring the tray's not going to fit with an Oginger glass it's a real bastard so what you got to do if you want to get a perfect pour you got to take away the tray I'll show you that's it without the tray Look how close that nib is. And then when you put the tray next to it. What you end up with is that. So that's why I always take the tray away. Because it's just so easy. Don't need a tray, do you? Okay, one of me, top up. Finger beauty, right, let's crack on with some aromas and on with the taste. Smells of brown bread crust, crackers, fresh wheat germ. Rye, rye bread as well. So very bready, but this could be good. Uh, I'll just show you one more time. There you go. Always sold out, remember that. Always sold out. So let's see how good this really is. Yeah, it's a smooth pint. Um, there's lots of breadiness to it. It's a, a very nice sweetness. The sweetness has thrown me because it, it's it's a walt sweetness. When you do home brew and you have a walt, that's exactly what it tastes like. The sweetness of it is of a walt. Uh, the body's quite thick and wholesome. I've got a lovely rye crackery bread fill. The head, I think it's from the head actually. 
Uh, let me come in again. I just want to make sure. The head. The head gives you a lovely foamy mouthfeel, but also a crackery note. Uh, a hint of vanilla there as well, so a, a vanilla crackery note. Smooth body that's thick, well balanced carbonation. There is no. It tastes like a flat beer, even though this isn't. This is brand new today. Just rigged it up a few hours ago. Um, this is the first pint off it, by the way. Um, very sort of flat carbonation. Aftertaste is again of a sweet germ, like a sweet, wheaty, germy taste. If I want to really get picky, I think there are notes of banana just on the back note. Don't quite get through. So what I'm going to do, this being a Dunkin' style, in theory I shouldn't be able to remix this, but what I'm going to do is when I'm near to the end of the keg after like five pints in, we're halfway, uh, or maybe six pints in even, I'm going to take the keg out, give it a squish like I did with the Frasnica Wesbeer, and I'm going to see if that actually changes the taste. So uh, I'll I'll report back in, in the description below, I'm not going to do a video on it, I'll report back in the description below on whether it worked or not. But as it stands, not a bad beer. I don't understand why it's sold out all the time. I don't think it's wowed me. Uh, I don't think it's anything to, to write home about. But there's some good flavours. You know, it's sweet, it's malty. It's a little bit bitter. Goes down easy. One of the better German beers I've had, but again, I'm going to put it out there. There are better beers than this. I just don't understand why this is constantly sold out. Might be just my opinion. You know, have your say on this. Comment in the on the uh, description below. Let me know how you feel about Fresnica Royal. It's a nice six percent six percent beer from Germany. You can't taste the alcohol. Completely hidden. Um, not bad brew, not bad brew. What would I, what would I score it? Uh, well, uh, I'd give it a 7. 7 out of 10. It's nice, but I just don't get the appeal. It's as simple as that. Join me next time, fans, for some more uh, perfect draft beer reviews. And next up, I'll give a little hint. Is If you've watched the video, you'll know where I'm coming from. Fuck off.